Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. My name is Rosina Sharon and uh, today we're going to do a special request from Lillian. <laughs> we are doing a um, smoky eye makeup tutorial. She wanted it with the hello look, but we're going to start off with the smoky first and then uh, yeah, we're going to learn the rest. Before we do that, kindly subscribe, share your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll be reading all of them. Kamakawa Ida. And if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. With no further ado, let us go straight into the video. Okay, so we're going to start off with the eyebrows as always. We're going to brush off uh, using our spoolie first. And at two line, we're going to use the Davis number no. three eye pencil. So kindly make sure the eye pencil is sharp enough and don't use too much force. On the upper side, we're going to brush our eyebrows going down first before we start lining. And kindly leave a bit of space around the inner corner so your eyebrows appear more natural. So we're going, next, we're going to use the Maybelline Brow Gel Mascara, which is a very, very good product. And then we're just going to use that to brush through our eyebrows and then press it in. Allow it to dry out completely first before we fill in if necessary so next to fill in fill in the areas where you feel like there is a space only and around the inner corner kindly draw hair like structures make sure your eye pencil is very sharp so to clean our eyebrows we're going to use the illegal pro concealer in the shade phone this is a concealer two shades lighter than my skin tone and use a very angled brush for this So before applying any eyeshadow, make sure you set your eyelids first. We're going to use the very same concealer we used to clean our eyebrows, which is Illegal Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. After that, I'm going to use the P. Louise eyeshadow base. I normally use this after I have already set with the concealer because I don't want a white residue on the upper lid. I just want it to concentrate more around the lower lid and then blend in with the concealer on the upper lid. Okay, and if you're going for a smoky look, make sure you use an eyeshadow primer so to maintain uh, that pigment, that dark pigment you're going for. Sorry, for eyeshadow, we're going for James Charles palette. We're going to start off with the darkest shade, which is this number one black, and we're going to place that around the lower lid on the crease region, okay, all the way to the outer corner and the inner corner. That is how you start doing your smoky. Make sure you concentrate that around the crease region on the lower lid first and then after the dark shade always blend in the black with the brown first never blend too dark with too light it won't blend in well so start off with the black then blend it in with a brown first before you blend it in with a lighter shade on the upper lid and for blending use a uh, circular motions and very little force and a round fluffy brush so after you have blended in with the brown now you can use a more subtle shade a more earth tone shade to blend in the second transition on the upper lid so after you're done blending it in all together you can add a bit of glitter this is very optional this is not a must but uh, I feel like glitter goes very well, especially if you're doing a smoky eye. And then after that, you can add in your lashes after you have done a mascara. And you're good to go. It is very, very easy to do a smoky eye. It's very easy. I hope those steps really help you guys. I, I, I really hope I have explained it well for beginners. So moving on to the face, we're going to start off by moisturizing. I normally I mix my moisturizer with sunscreen and all these are from CeraVe, the brand CeraVe. Very, very good brand to work with, especially for the moisturizer because it works for all our skin tones. So skin types, sorry. And then after we have moisturized the face, we're going to prime and we're going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. We're going to concentrate that around the T-zone area, that is your forehead going down to your nose. And for primer, tap it in and allow it to be absorbed into the skin and set fast before you start applying foundation. For foundation today, we're going to use the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the shade Warm Coconut. For application, you can use a beauty blender. If you're using a beauty blender, make sure it is a damp beauty blender. Squeeze out the excess water, excess water first before you start blending. For blending, tap it in 
until it all blend, uh, blends in. And avoid using fresh product just below your under eye and around your nose. Only use the product remaining on the beauty blender after blending in the other regions to avoid creases and you know any harsh lines around those regions so after foundation we're moving on to highlighting i'm using the same concealer i used on my eyes which is a legal pro concealer in the shade phone so please avoid using too much product just place the product around the inner corner and the outer corner and then blend it in immediately especially for beginners blend it in immediately as you go because concealers dry out really quick and uh, if you let it stay for a while it is going to quiz so make sure you blend it in as you go start off with your under eye blend it in first then move to the bridge of your nose blend it in first before you go to your forehead and then blend it in so after that we're going to cream contour i normally just cream contour around the cheekbones alone and make sure when you're blending the contour you blend it upwards not downwards so after that i'm just going to reverse contour with my foundation around the cheekbone so after that we're going to set the areas we highlighted with the concealer using the such a buttercup setting powder and we're going to dip your beauty blender onto the setting powder blow off the excess powder first before you start applying and make sure you only use uh, the setting powder around the area where there was product on the beauty blender not the other area that is clean because that is where it holds the product and then for application just press it in until it all blends in with no residues whatsoever and please set all the areas you highlighted especially these sides the sides of the nose those areas are very very important to set please never forget to set that area and then after that we're going to put a contour and we're going to use the zikel contour blush and uh, highlight palette and first off we're going to set where we cream contoured first with the powder and then contour the forehead always remember to contour the forehead it's very very important and then after that for nose contour kindly use a smaller brush for beginners if you don't know how to place your brush just below where your eyebrow starts okay place your brush there in a, like a 30 degree angle that is going to give you a guideline on where to start drawing going down you should do that on both sides just as i have uh, illustrated in this video i don't know how to say it in words sorry <laughs> And then after that, blend it in with a cleaner brush so you avoid harsh contour lines around your nose. And blend it in going down. When you're doing a smoky eye, the under eye is just as important. So make sure you place a creamy black eyeliner around the waterline and then you smoke it out with a darker shade. And then after that, we're going to do a blush just on the edge of the contour start off from the cheeks going up don't do the reverse from the cheeks going up when you're doing blush and then after that we're going to set and then after that we're going to highlight using the fenty beauty highlighter in the shade hustler baby And then next, moving on to the lips, you're going to start off by lip lining using the Davis number no. 3 lip liner. And please, after lip lining, make sure you have a smudge your lips so the lip liner blends in. You don't want a round line going all over your lips and then lipstick after that. Make sure you blend that one in first and then apply your lipstick after. For lipstick, we're going for this Milani in Amore. I chose to go with a bold lip today. I just wanted to look bold today. <laughs> and uh, that would be it for me today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have learned something from this video. 
I hope you have enjoyed this video generally. Let me know what you think about this look on the comment section down below. And that would be it from me today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you on my next video. Bye.